Well, it's Bill and Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Thanks for joining us with Church on the Beach. Today we continue on with everybody ought to know. And we pray that eyes will be open to behold wonderful things from the Word of God. I remember very vividly before I was born again of the Spirit of God, the Bible was just another book. But after receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour, wow, the lights went on in my heart. And that same book become alive. So I wanted to devour as much as I could. I was so hungry and thirsty for the Word of God. The Apostle Peter said in his writing, Desire the milk of the Word of God that you might grow. And this same book that was once dead to me, now God began to speak to me out of the book. I had such a hunger for the Word of God that when I went to church I'd sit right down the front with my note paper and pad and copy down as much of the sermon as I could. The Word of God would call it our first love, enthusiasm, just wanting to hear the Word of God, desiring to know more and more about God. We all need to remember where we have come from and return to our first love with the Lord Jesus Christ and the thirst we had for the Word of God. What a joy it was to first walk with the living God. I couldn't help but share with the people around about me the things that had happened. And living in a small community of people, why everybody saw it for themselves. I felt that everybody ought to know what had happened to me. And as I continued on to follow the Lord over the years, I discovered from His Word more and more of the things that Jesus had done for me. I would love to share with you some of the revealed truths that I have received. Remember again the Hebrew word for revealed means our face to be uncovered, that we can see clearly that the word is disclosed to our heart. The light goes on and of course we can have the ability to walk in the light of that knowledge. Oh, but how many times we fall back into sense knowledge. That is, our senses govern our lives. Sense knowledge is in the soul realm. It's all about how I think, how I feel, the circumstances around about me. It's all about walking in the natural man where even what we see affects us and what we hear, touch or taste. Jesus said to his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist. They could have thought, well here's the man that's preaching the message of repentance for the kingdom of God is at hand. Must be John the Baptist, perhaps raised from the dead. Others said it must be Elijah because of all the amazing miracles that were happening around about Jesus. Others thought he was Jeremiah the prophet. Jeremiah was called the weeping prophet and they seen Jesus, how he was moved with compassion because of the multitudes. People have been talking amongst themselves and thinking about this man Jesus and wondering who he really was. Was he one of the other prophets? But Jesus said to his disciples, But what about you? Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man, but my Father in heaven. Peter had walked with Jesus, fellowship with him, got to know him, but never knew who he was. It took God the Father to suddenly take the scales from his eyes and unveil his face and reveal to him that indeed Jesus was the Son of the living God, the Christ, the Messiah. Peter was hooked forever and Jesus said upon this rock I will build my church. The rock of revelation knowledge 
and revealed truth. Revelation, knowledge and revealed truth will change our life forever. The Apostle Peter wrote, Be established in present truth. God bless and have a pleasant day.